So I was walking and I was noticing that there was this like resistance, something of a disturbance, a disturbance in the force. So I noticed it and I was like, okay, what's the underlying belief here? And I saw that there was a looming belief to do with, um, you know, in, in, when you're young, you're taught um, not to talk to strangers, <laughs> not to talk to strangers, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a very reasonable thing. But now in this part of my life, I'm interested in talking to strangers. I'm interested in just having fun and enjoying everything. So I think that's what that limiting belief has to do with. Um, that's where the resistance came from. I guess that entrainment as children um, to not talk to strangers. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that now I was noticing this resistance and I wanted to change it. So I just wanted to feel light, you know, because when you change, when I change a limiting belief, I notice that I, there's a lighter feeling. It's like a heaviness, almost like a constrainment, a limitation, but more like a heavy. It's like a heaviness. When the limiting belief is lifted, there's a lightness in whatever area of life that is. So this particular area of life is, uh, is talking to strangers. So I changed the limiting belief. Something along the lines of uh, it's fun and easy to talk to strangers and I do it naturally. Something like that. And right after I... I changed that as I was walking actually, <laughs> using Psych K because I'm a Psych K facilitator, so it takes me about you know a couple of seconds to change the subconscious beliefs. So I changed. I noticed the subconscious belief that was limiting. I changed it via Psych K, and then I noticed there was straight away a feeling of lightness, straight away about the whole situation. Now I could just look at people and you know I could talk to them. I could not talk to them, but it didn't really matter. There wasn't really a push or. A, in one direction. It was a freedom. It was an inner freedom. It was now a choice. So then later I talked to a stranger very easily. It was like we were best friends. It was like we just haven't seen each other in a while. We were just talking. It was so fun. <laughs> it was very cool. So I just wanted to share that so that you can start to see the effect that limiting beliefs have. You see, because the thing with limiting beliefs is until you lift them, you don't really know how constraining they are. I'll give you an example. One of those profound limiting beliefs I had is not something I, exactly I can, um, any particular one I can say, but there's this thing inside K called a relationship balance. And, you know, it says that around certain people, you know how around certain people you might get a little uncomfortable, around other people you're comfortable and it's easy to be open and free. Well, it's like that. So we would say in psych K terminology that you're whole brained around certain types of people, not, it doesn't, it's the type of person that matters. So like archetype, I guess you could call it that. Against certain archetypes of people, it's easy, you're calm. Against, uh, uh, with other people, it's like you, there's something off. There's something off, some not peaceful thing within the mind. So this relationship balance is a way to become whole brained with a relationship. It's really powerful for every relationship, but particularly like your parents, um, your spouses, wow, that's really powerful. It's probably the most wonderful gift anyone can give. And yourself, you can actually do a relationship balance with yourself. Anyway, so my first relationship balance was in a Site K uh, advanced workshop and with this person, right? Never done it before. I was there doing it. Just this old dude, <laughs> wonderful guy. We do this um, balance and man, I did not know how, if, how m much constraining how much heaviness there was around looking people into their eyes before that because before that balance it was very difficult to look into people's eyes it would always be like this it would kind of not it would be difficult there was always like you know it wasn't conscious it was unconscious so i wasn't sure why and i'm still not sure why but it doesn't matter so yes if you do it's like hey you don't need to know why you just need to know what it is and what you want it to be instead what's the problem what do you want it to be instead so you need it's like okay it's very simple i like it after doing the relationship balance suddenly I could now see, I was just staring into everyone's eyes and it was absolutely wonderful. I remember everyone in the workshop was like, just like looking into their eyes. Like, wow, wow, this is so exciting. Look at your eyes, look at your eyes, look at your eyes. It's so amazing. Anyway, but the point of that story is just to share that you don't know the constraining effect that a limiting belief is having on you until you lift it, until you change it, until you transform it. Then you have this new point of reference and you can compare the two. You can be like, wow. I mean, how could I even live like that before? <laughs> so you see that it was very difficult. Now it's lifted and you're very grateful. So this applies to all social situations as well. You know, this is a video about social, you know, strangers, but you can also apply it to not strangers. Anyone, you don't know the effect of limiting beliefs until you lift them. For example, for now, I'm very free, very easy, 
going around anyone. It doesn't matter. They can be talking. They can be silent. They can be giving me, I don't know, a hard time or they can give me an easy time. It doesn't matter. My state is unaffected by what people say or do. And that's an incredible freedom that I didn't have before. But, you know, when I didn't have it before, I you just assume that's the norm. That's just how things are. If someone says something, you get uncomfortable because that's just how everyone else does it. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's another way. There's a way of total inner freedom, total independence from any external um, conditions or changes. And that's something that Psyche has helped me with. Helped me change all the limiting beliefs that stand in the way of being in a state of inner freedom. That is a, of a constant joy, a joy that doesn't depend, a happiness that doesn't depend on externalities. It's just constant in the sense of the source is inner. When the source is inner, then nothing outer, nothing external can change it, can influence it. Um, and that's freedom. That's inner freedom. And if you'd like to try that yourself, if you'd like to give a shot, um, you are welcome to check the description below. Book a, just click the no obligation button and ask for a site case session. Um, it is gift based, gift based. So after the session, you can pay or not pay or pay however much or little you would like. That is up to you. That is how I operate on gift based stuff. And I offer this because the best way to learn about it is not to hear about it. You know, you hear about it, you get interested. And now if you really want to get serious and really want to make some changes, now you got to actually do it. <laughs> you do it and that's how you learn through your own experiences. So if you'd like to learn through your own experiences, that is how you can do that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was enlightening into something. You see something differently. I'd love to hear in the comments what you thought below. It'd be really helpful. If you'd like any other video on any other limiting belief or if you suspect you have some sort of limiting belief or if you have some sort of like, I don't know, particular struggle in one area of life, and you're willing to share that in the comments, feel free to do so. And I can actually look at that and be like, from my lens, from my sight K subconscious lens, what might, what or might be the source of that and let you know, and you can do with that information, whatever you'd like. Um, that'll be my gift to you, if you're willing, of course. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching this video. Like this video if you like this video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And click the bell button to be notified of future content. Thank you very much for watching this video and choosing to spend eight minutes. Wow, eight minutes with me. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope to see you next time.